Clap show. Action. All right, boys and girls. Welcome. After you have your paper all prepped and erased, the next thing we need to do is take a piece of tissue, a block of it like this. Now, I just got to touch in the paper using my normal oily hands. So this is why you have to erase. That'll be my bad side, by the way. I'll take powder graphite. After you have the powder graphite, what you want to do is rub most of it off. Key. But then watch this. So I'm going to go in here without erasing it. Those are all my fingerprints. So it's kind of like CSI or like a detective. So if your Cheeto ass hands are going all over this thing, uh, it's going to look like that. You can turn them into birds or something, but they're not going to be a pretty sight. So you don't want to do that. Another thing you don't want to do is go back and forth like this. Terrible. Oh my god. Yeah, so this side's all clean. I've already prepped that. I erased it. I'm good. And you saw it. It looked clean. I told you the powder graphite. That's how it does for fingerprints. All right, so watch this. I'm going to take this thing. I'm going to take a piece of paper. Right here. Now, well, I'll just turn it down here. Here's all my powder graphite. Now, I'll rub most of it off. All right, that's pretty clean. And I'm using my hand flat. Fingertips will be a mess. Flat, four fingers. Rub most of the powder graphite off. Okay, that's key. Hopefully you wrote that down. Did you write that down? Oh my God, you did. Did you write that down? Let me see. No. About the... Yeah, let me see. No, you gotta keep up the notes. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go halfway on the paper, halfway off. Not here, you'll have a mess. You go halfway on, halfway off, and then when you do this, it has to be like a star pattern. Can't go back and forth, can't do circles, it has to be a star. That's it. Watch this, here it goes. So super light, flat, it's kind of a star geometric pattern. All I'm doing is getting in there, rubbing this in, different directions, kind of a star though, going all the way across. This is one of the hardest things in the project right here. So I'm gonna get darker on the top, I'll get lighter as I go down. Right now the paper's just using up its own powder graphite, so it's fine. And because I'm doing it and I'm overlapping, I'm not skipping rows. So this, this row that I'm doing is about halfway on, halfway off. Going back and forth. Now my powder graphite is almost rubbing out. Can't really see too much of it anymore. So then I need more powder graphite, which is typical. All right, so that's pretty good blend for the first round. Now I need more powder graphite. So there's tricks to that as well. Take the powder graphite. Oh, I'll smooth it off here. Rub most of it off again. Now here's the, here's the trick. You can't start where you left off. Can't. So if you do, it's gonna be a big dark smudge right here. So even though you might like the value of this, start, I wanna get down here, but you have to start right up here. So start dark. Stumble, star pattern. Make sure you guys are watching or taking notes. Star pattern, overlapping, going back and forth. And if you remember how long it took uh, to do your face, be patient with how long this takes. It doesn't take that long, but it doesn't take that long to mess it up either. So gotta be careful. All right. Back and forth, come all the way across. Right here, it's a little bit light. See that little area there? So I'll fix that. Then I'll have my horror about down here somewhere. So now I'm gonna go back up, so I'm not gonna just jump right into that thing. Slowly going back and forth. Never jump around. And now I'm gonna take this thing and press a little bit harder. Get more of that powder graphite off. And now it's kind of a smooth blend. Doesn't have to be perfect. 
because you have skies and cirrus clouds coming on top of that. All right, so I'm gonna go one more trick. Ooh. I almost fell. That could have been embarrassing. All right, so I'm gonna go a little bit darker on the top of here. Scumble, scumble, back and forth. Don't want to show you the dynamic clouds and stuff. Okay, that's good. All right, now my horizon I'm gonna have will be right about here. And if you notice the horizon compared to the sky, it's not a one, but it's like a two. So shouldn't be touching that with my hand, but it's the ground, so it doesn't really matter as much. Okay, toning the paper. That is hard, not gonna lie. So that's probably the hardest thing you're gonna be doing. So it looks easy, but you have to be fall every single one of my steps, it is easy. But if you skip it, you go down here, or you go back and forth, or you do circles, or if you get the rub of the paper off, uh, it's gonna be a disaster. All right, not looking forward to that. And these are harder to fix, by the way. All right, vanishing point, right there. So on your, one of your pictures you have has this cirrus cloud. So for the cirrus clouds, run off the eraser until it's nice and smooth and round, like that, like this. All right, so then you don't want white. So you don't want a cirrus cloud that looks like this. Yay, it's a cirrus cloud. And you have all these like ugly ass candy canes. Oh, I've seen those. Those are terrible. All right, so put your eraser flat like this. Watch this. Flat. Flat eraser. And then barely pick up the ass end of the eraser. It's like, boop, boop, it's like that. And I'm gonna push it, but not push it real good, just push it. And then it's gonna slowly erase, but super slow. You can't even see it. That's the miracle of cirrus clouds. Do we have to do cirrus clouds? I recommend it every year somebody talks to me into going, no, I don't want them. I'm like, sure, it never looks as good as one of cirrus clouds. Cirrus clouds are a great way to uh, lighten up your horizon. I got too dark. And all of you guys have the cirrus cloud that I'm about ready to do. Comes up a little bit of a fanny kind of thing up here. So I'm just kind of like driving it like a little toy car. Little toy car. That's it. <clears throat> Getting this all in there. All right. And then here, rub that off again. And then the horizon, see this vanishing point, now it's going to come up a little bit higher. A little bit higher now. It's still not white though, this is still hazy. So if you can imagine this is like, you're trying to drive like a little tiny streetcar, like a toy streetcar. But it's not a cool streetcar. It's like a Prius, with like very low batteries. So it's like, That? No, it's like Tokyo Drift over there or something. None of that stuff. Skirt. Up here, it's gonna go a little bit higher of an angle. A little higher. And I'll like, and then this part on the cirrus cloud, it's not just like the little hooks anymore. Now it's like little patches of stuff going on. Brooklyn, are you watching? Take the hoodie off, I can't see you. It's distracting. Looks like you're sleeping. All right, so now I'm gonna go in here. Serious clones, still kind of light. And once again, don't watch this like you're watching TV because once I'm done, well, you'll have the recording, you can see it again. But like I said, this is kind of the hard part. I'll do two clouds as well. So this alone should take you like probably a whole day, this part. Okay, so now I have these little serious clouds. I'll have a little more detail in here. A little more contrast. Still using a corner of the eraser. Yeah, still using a corner of the eraser. Soft edge though, no lines, all hazy. And so then you can kind of see that. And over here, they don't have to go all the way across. Some cirrus clouds will like start here <clears throat> and go only up a little bit. Here's a little cirrus puff daddy. Oh, that's a cute one. And the reference that you guys all have at your table, Right here, there's quite a bit of it. You can choose to add more of it or less. <clears throat> and get that going on. All right, I kind of... Cooper. Cooper. 
Your eyes are closed. You're going to be cleaning afterwards. Okay, this is the part. If you want help, you got to pay attention now. If you don't pay attention now, act like you need help later. Uh, yeah, no thanks. Okay, so now the next thing to do, write down is outline your clouds you have references for. <clears throat> so I'll show you that. Cirrus clouds are complete. Now cumulus, I'll do a cumulus cloud here. I'll do the big one right there. Medium one right here, I'm using references for them. On one of the packets. I'm trying to go kind of fast so we can get that show going. Oh, I'm getting out of breath. Whew. That's what happens when you get older. Uh, I went upstairs late at night, couldn't sleep, went downstairs, watched TV. Went back upstairs after I was, thought I was not tired anymore. Going upstairs, I got winded. I'm like, oh my God, how old am I? Okay, so this is the outline phase. Looks terrible. Now, erase this entire thing. So even if it's gonna be a dark cloud. So I'm gonna take this, use the wide part of the eraser. Don't do this, where it looks like a snowman's pubic hair. You don't want that. No little curly things, all wide. Fat, lines, different directions. And this is the next phase. All right, so I'm going different directions so you can't see how I erased it because it's only powder graphite. It comes off pretty easy. And don't invent new techniques. These techniques are pretty solid. All right, wide eraser. Block it out. Come in. And then down here, same thing. Boop. So this is the kind of quick ghetto version, that's right. Mm -hmm. Then I don't know what's going on with this guy. I'll add a little bit to him. Fat directions. Okay, that's that face. That place is done. This is equivalent of the tapeworm face. Not that impressive. <clears throat> All right, after this phase, dust that off, don't touch it with your hands. So after that, add the break apart, guys. So those are little tiny pieces of cloud come off the big cloud. So I'll show you examples. Like right here, little puff daddy, brings it right in there. I'm adding these little tiny guys that are falling apart. So I'll come in here, little guy, and watch this, watch this, here it goes. Squish down hard, ease up a little bit, feather it out. <laughs> Look at that little guy, kind of adorable. It's like a giant finger of that. So oh, add the pieces and you can take pieces from different clouds. So if you have one cloud that has a, these great pieces coming off of it, hell, use that. It's like the best of. And the other thing is with the references. So if you find a cloud like this you, from one photograph, you can't put this cloud down here because the perspective is all different. Okay, I'll do a little more here. Hold on one second. And I'll get those guys going. I have a little puff daddy here, real slight. And I'll pick these up later. Once again, this will take you a couple days. <clears throat> All right. And yeah. You know, okay. That face is done. So I added the little break apart guys. Bust that off. <sighs> Next, right now, adding the dark shadows. And dark shadows. Take this, rub that in there, just like that. Most of it's gone. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow the reference, but right in here, remember what we talked about, you're looking up at the cloud. So therefore, the shadows could go almost anywhere in this. Way up here even. If you're looking at the bottom of it, that could go anywhere. I'll rub some more off here. And down here, it's not going to go away at the top. It's going to be like the lower third. So like right here. Can't go up here though, because water condensation is heavier than the steam or the vapor. So the water is always accumulating at the bottom of the cloud. Here, same thing, I can add a little bit, but a smaller cloud doesn't have as much mass, <clears throat> so the shadows won't be as dramatic. Okay, and down here, barely, barely, you could even do that with the blending stump. Okay. 
That part's done. Now, next, write down cloud on cloud action is hot. So I'm gonna show you that. Cloud on cloud action is hot. So, there's cloud on cloud action. Right now we have one cloud. One cloud, one shadow. But then you add another cloud on the cloud. Watch this, here it goes. I got deck. Brooklyn, did you seriously put your hoodie back on? Brooklyn, hoodie off. Put the hoodie off. It's attention. Yeah. All right, so watch this. Cloud here. A little bit of a line right there. So it's going to be the outline of the next cloud. Then I'll fade it out. Fade, fade, fade. Fade, fade. So right now, once again, add clouds in the darker shadow of the other clouds. And here, same thing. Now we got little clouds in the clouds to make them look like real clouds. Here, same thing, do it on the edge. Start with the line, then I'll fade. Start with the line for the cloud, then fade it out like we do with hair and eyelashes, the little hair chunks. And then right here, I'll add a little tiny cloud in that cloud. Shabam, shabam. And then fadey, fadey. Shabam, shabam, 80 fadey. Bam. And there you go. All right, so that's cloud action. That's sky and cloud action. All right. So now you guys are set, so I recommend practicing that in your sketchbooks. And you guys are going to be 